propped <laughs> on my dash. And if, if for those of you thinking I'm not wearing a seatbelt, I am. It's on my waist. I have issues. <laughs> uh, there's something about being in your car and you know, I, I know I have to pay attention to the road, so you're right here, so that's cool. I don't have to face you, and I know you understand why I'm not facing you the whole time. So that's really cool. But there's something else about being in your car. Um, taking a drive when you've had a bad day. It can be bad. It can be good. If you're able to just drive down the block, park your car, hopefully nobody's going to come bother you. That doesn't help the bad day. And just breathe. Nobody can talk to you if you don't want them to. If you're doing a video, hopefully nobody can call you. You know, nobody can bug you. And I think that's what is, for me, one of the reasons I used to like driving trucks so much is that it's just me and the road. It was just me and the road. So where is all this going? Who cares where it's going, really? I mean, do we have to be going somewhere specific every moment of every day? And when you've had a bad day, there could be a million reasons why you've had it. Now, we don't think about that for other people, but it's something we should. We, I include myself. We're all human, I think. <laughs> Maybe. Um, you know, I, I want to talk for just a moment, and you can listen or not, obviously, always, of course, right? Free world, listen or not. For those of you that have been watching me and my videos and following Caring Hearts for Horses since I've been doing this, I didn't do all these videos and things until then. Um, and every now and then I think I have to, I'm sure I've done this before, but I, sometimes I have to remind people or tell new people who I am as far as my personality. I'm a type A personality, so science says. However, I'm also a type B personality. <laughs> I believe in balance. <laughs> um, I do. I think I'm a good person. You know what we think of ourselves is important, but but when we when others are talking about us, you're always going to hear two sides. You're going to hear you're not a nice person. You're going to hear you are a nice person. If you're Mother Teresa, holy mackerel, then. I can't imagine ever, anybody ever saying Mother Teresa wasn't a good person, but I've never met her. How would I know? All I know is her quotes, and I know her quotes are pretty amazing. But that doesn't tell me about the rest of Mother Teresa, now does it? I don't know what she was like as a kid. I don't know who she is. I don't know why she followed the path. She did. We all follow a path every day. No matter what that path is, we follow a path. And we... Yeah, me too, have chosen that path, whatever it is. It can change momentarily, it can change daily. Of course, these are all my opinions, but you know, at 55, I think I've got a little bit, I think we've all at this age got a little bit of accuracy going on there. Even if it's just in our own minds, right? <laughs> so, Wow, does it sound crazy? Yeah, it is crazy. Um, having a bad day, you know? I'm just, because it blames nobody, I'm gonna blame the moon. How's that? I'll blame the full moon. <laughs> but I'm not gonna blame the full moon for my actions, because whether somebody agrees with my actions and my words or not, they're mine. And I'm a human being. I am nowhere near perfect. I'm so far from perfect. It's not even funny. I mean, what is perfect? But I'm not always nice. Uh, I'm not always a bitch. Oops. I'm not always... Well, I'm not. If I, you 
know, I, I'm not always sad. I'm not always this. I'm not always that. I, because, and I believe this, I could be a 24 hour, seven day a week, miserable woman that nobody wants to be around except those that like miserable company. I strive for balance. It's why you guys hear me joke, you see me smile, I try to throw smiles in. It's not just for you, it's also for me. Because I want to be real. I am so real that people think I'm full of shit most of the time. They think I lie, they think I'm vindictive, they think this, they think that. I don't know what they think. And and then there's those that think I'm an angel. Oh Lord, I'm not. And, and all this other stuff. But the bottom line is, I'm me. And even though I'm very friendly as much as I can be, and I try to be confident without being overly cocky, I am misread a lot. Because people are not used to hearing the blunt truth. And so they think you're full of it. Because nobody's like that, you see. Even though you're looking at me going, I tell the truth. We don't always tell the truth. Come on, seriously. Society as a whole has gotten to this point, I believe, and from many I've spoken with, there's plenty of others out there that believe the same thing, that, and it doesn't mean they practice what they preach. I'm just saying, because I can. I live in a world where I can say these things. I'm allowed. That's the beauty of the country that we live in. I'm not going to jail tomorrow for saying what I'm saying now. We, we live in a world that seems to believe that it's okay to wear rose-colored glasses which for those of you that don't understand that term because you're too young or whatever the case may be, it means we like things pretty. We, we think that we have to, uh, what's the old adage? There's an old adage that says, if you can't say anything nice, don't say it. Well, that's unrealistic as all get out. I mean, seriously. There's a time and place for that adage, but it's not in 24 seven of your life. I'm sorry, come on, because it's not real. It's not real. There's nothing real. People are walking around. Society has chosen on a whole, I believe, to walk around in a haze, thinking things are the way they're not. And it causes people to not see what the truth is and think that the lies are the truth. Everything's backwards. <laughs> truth is, in our world, Two plus two equals four. However, in an alternate reality, or if people just decide to change the way mathematics is, then two plus two may not equal four tomorrow. And, and I feel like that's the way the world's headed. It may equal five. I'm not sure how. I mean, there were a time, I don't know if it's still around, I don't have kids in school. Uh, I haven't asked the kids that we work with. There was new math, something about new math. And I think it was a couple of years ago they came out this new math. Okay, so things can change. Perceptions, uh, realities, they change. However, there is one reality that is constant and that is change. But let's get back to having a bad day. <laughs> Even though I don't want to. <laughs> Have a bad day, that is. I, I myself, me, myself, and I, Yes, I can be multiple people sometimes. A lot of people, because of the way I smile and laugh when I say a lot of these things, they think I'm joking. I'm not, I'm serious and I find that funny that I actually say these things honestly. I have gotten in more trouble. I have turned a joke into, um, into the statement, um, Lord have mercy, I'm gonna forget and think of something else. I'm jumping tracks as a friend, a couple friends call it. I jump tracks and then I come back. <laughs> and many of you find that absolutely hilarious, so I'm so glad. Um, me, myself, and I, I, you know, 
<laughs> I answer myself. I ask myself questions. I am the type of person, uh, you know, I would love to be one of those people that is vindictive as can be sometimes because sometimes I think it would probably feel really good, but then I think, but then, I think, you know what, karma and what's the energy, because I believe in energy a lot, and that's a whole different subject. The energy that's going to come back at me for pulling things like that, things that children pull in school, and we go back to that because that's usually the first time in our lives that we start playing with that type of thing. Let's see if I can get away with this. You know, we, we push buttons. We push lots of buttons. Even even quiet kids push buttons. I know people don't understand that, but every, you know, that's when it starts to happen the most. And now I'm hearing it's happening in junior high before high school. So I, I don't mean to be a button pusher. I tend to trigger a lot of people's buttons. <laughs> buttons equaling nerves. <laughs> because I do speak the truth and people don't want to hear it. We don't want to hear the realities. We don't want to hear the truths. And we, oh, for goodness sakes, I got to pass this guy. What am I doing? I got to pass this guy. Person. I'm going to jump a track for a minute, okay? If you want to go around somebody, for God's sake, just go around. <laughs> don't judge them. Just go around them. <laughs> now, if they're holding things up and there's no good reason, then okay. <laughs> okay, jumping back now. <laughs> uh, oh, I need to slow down. Um, cruise control is a beautiful thing. So we live in this this bubble that people call reality. And everybody has their own reality. You know, what's real for you may not seem very realistic to me, which makes things even more confusing because everybody thinks that, oh my God, how can they not understand me? And sometimes I think the same thing. How can people not understand what I'm saying? Blue is blue, red is red. What can't you not get the N and O? What part of the no, do, you know, do you not understand the N or the O? <laughs> I know I really have a hard time getting it, but that's because I understand how I think most of the time. <laughs> Do you see how confusing life can be? And when you find other people that don't get you and they refuse to get you because that would threaten the way their reality is, OMG, and I swore I'd never say that, OMG, <laughs> goodness, gosh, gods, God, whatever you want it to be, OMG, somebody's life has been turned upside down and it's the end of the world, or maybe it's just, you know, stressful, you know, me, I try to get rid of my stress by talking, I'm a talker. It doesn't mean I talk behind people's backs. If I, you know, I, I'm not like that. I, I try to own up to everything I say. And sometimes that's nerve wracking for me. Hey, did you say this? Oh, I did. Yep, I did. I've lost a job because of it. I'm that honest. But people just don't understand. Oh, that's bull. You can't possibly be. How can everybody else be telling a lie but you? I don't know. Because that's the world we live in. Now, not everybody else lies and I'm the only one. Blah, blah, blah. Little fibs happen, you know. Untruths, they happen. Everybody tells them. If you don't think you do, you better think again. <laughs> hey, were you sleeping? No, I'm good. <laughs> and yet you just, you were sleeping, but you don't want to be rude. <laughs> because God forbid, <laughs> I was, but it's okay. Tell the truth. Is it okay? I was. Can you call me back later? You know, be honest. It doesn't hurt. And you're not being rude. You don't have to be rude. My mother taught me one thing that I will always, always love and be grateful for. And that's, <laughs> that's not the first lie she told me, which is that if to tell the truth is, uh, honesty is the best policy. That's one of the biggest lies she ever told me. 
It is not always the best policy, but I have a really hard time not doing it and therefore it gets me in trouble. I know it's hard to admit, what, really? No, it's the best, no it's not. <laughs> Honey, does my dress look good? You better say yes. It's, that's a setup. <laughs> uh, but in all seriousness, it can really make your day difficult. It can be hurtful. People, what are you doing? See, Dingus, he's doing a me. I think I need to go that way. Oops, wrong way. <laughs> it can be painful. It can be hurtful. I have this thing. I don't need you to like me, but I have this ridiculous need to smooth things over. Whether we disagree, we can agree to disagree. I'm okay with that. But, oh, look, I'm going to get one up front. You can't see it. <laughs> However, do we got to be so mean? And why? Why? I mean, why do we have to be so vindictive? What's vindictive? You know, let's, let's look up the meaning of vindictive, people. You know, I, oh, my God, I was called calculating once, and I was, to me, calc to be calculating. Now, calculatingly vindictive, ooh, look out, <laughs> that's a monster. And I know a few people like that. I'm sure we all do. I hope you don't. That, that's a scary kind of person that can cause your life more drama, stressful situations, havoc, chaos, unneeded negativity than you will ever want or need because nobody needs this. We don't need it. Um, I think some people don't know how to do anything else but. They're miserable. They're very unhappy. And they have their reasons for being unhappy. It doesn't make it okay. And we all make mistakes. Uh, I think owning up to those mistakes. No, I believe. make Owning up to those mistakes. And if you've done somebody wrong, I think it's a good idea I don't care if you send it in a, a note, but mean it when you do it. You know, I'm sorry I blew off at you the other day. I was having a rough moment and unfortunately you got caught in the windstorm. You know, find, if you have a hard time putting words together, get your butt online and find a way to say it. Make a little video that says you're sorry or you apologize. Don't be sorry, apologize. My mother was big on words. She said, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. And so I try, I try my hardest to not be rude, to, unless I mean to be. I try not to be rude. And there's times when I believe that some people just need to be verbally smacked around and woken up. But that doesn't mean I do it. It's what I believe. I think sometimes bullies... People become bullies, and adults and seniors can be bullies as much as any children can. And I think it's uncalled for. I think it's rude. I think it's mean. And there's only one way to stop a bully, and it's proven, and that's to stop them. <laughs> you have to stop them. I'm not saying how. I'm saying they have to be stopped. And part of that is by taking a stand. And trust me when I tell you, you could end up the uh, you could end up just emotionally uh, and sometimes physically beat. I mean, just beat up. So what do you do? I don't want to feel that. Well, I don't want to feel it either. But you know what? Somebody's got to stop these people. Now, I'm going to take this bad day and I'm going to say this. A friend of mine told me yesterday that this too shall not mean anything in a hundred years. She couldn't have been more right. And I have another friend that said, um, told somebody, I overheard her telling somebody not too long ago that allowing negative negativity, negative situations, negative people to impact your life and make you miserable is not worth allowing to happen. So, some of you are going to think I'm saying, so fight them and put them down and make it stop. Okay. I'm not saying anything in particular. I'm saying you have the power 
I have the power to make this stop. And sometimes that decision isn't easy. It can be very, very difficult, but you gotta do it. And if you can't do it on your own, find someone that can. And if they smack you, move on. That's my advice for myself. And that's my advice for all of you. You guys have a wonderful day. I love you. I'm at Sam's Club. I got to pick some things up. And you know what? I love you guys. I love those of you that follow and listen and take the time. I respect you. I can't say I love you. I love parts of you because you're here. But I do respect you and I am grateful to you for being here. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to add comments to the video. Yep. Even bad ones. Bring them on. See, this is my stupidity right here. I go, go ahead. Bring them on. I've lost my mind. I'm not a brick wall. I got to stop doing that. <laughs> Be polite, people. Be polite. Be polite. Think of the other person you're getting ready to talk to and think of ending with a win-win situation somehow. Okay? Somehow. Make it happen. And if somebody's trying to help you with that, for God's sake, let them try. Talk to you later. Have a good one. Ciao for now.